Welcome to Kimono Therapy, Rituals to Process Life and Master Your Flow. For those of you that are new, my name is Christina. I am a Reiki practitioner and a psychotherapist as well as a personal support worker. So in this video, the message that I want to share this week is one from my 365 day quote book. I have had this book on my kitchen counter for years and there is a quote for every single day for the entire year as well as um, each month something to focus on. So it inspired me to create this video and June, the month of June, is all about perspective. So I came, I was uh, in my kitchen the other day cooking and uh, I've posted this quote that day on social media, but I knew I had to make a video about it. And that is, turn your wounds into wisdom. And when I read it, while I was getting dinner ready, I thought, I'm at a certain stage in my life, an age in my life, where I thought, you know what, I want to take a moment and journal and reflect on if there are any wounds, invisible wounds, that I am still carrying um, into the next day or the month or the year or into relationships. And like I had mentioned before, it's so important to sit down and journal because it really solidifies in black and white what is going on. Like I, I go through journals like there's no tomorrow. So. When I sat down and I looked at the quote again and asked myself, you know what, what wounds have I turned into wisdom? And one, this is just one wound, just to share with you, I'm being transparent here. Um, one wound was being in a narcissistic relationship. And as humans, we have a tendency to have to put labels on things in order to understand. So just for that purpose alone, I was in a narcissistic relationship years ago. And narcissists and empaths gravitate to one another. And so my wound was losing myself in that particular relationship, losing my voice losing my power, um, losing a lot of things. And the wisdom that I gained from that, and I'm just using this as an example, you probably have a different wound that if you're still carrying, you wanna sit down and take a look at. But I realized that um, my superpower, we all have a superpower, the wisdom was me being empathic and picking up on the traits of that particular individual, but in the meantime, losing myself. So I had to take some time to study the dynamic between the two in a relationship and how to reclaim my power and allow myself to never go through that experience again. We can't change another individual, but we can certainly change how we respond to it. So I turned my wound into wisdom. And the message this week is, if there are any wounds that you are still carrying, you wanna turn them into wisdom. That's what they're there for. We learn lessons in life and there is a reason why we go through what we go through. And this quote was by Oprah Winfrey. I forgot to mention that. So if you have wounds, which we all do, you wanna just stop and take some time this week to write them down, whatever they may be. And if you have to research to gain wisdom, do so. I had to watch a bunch of videos to understand the dynamic between a narcissistic relationship and what ends up happening and that's how i learned from it and that's how i gained my wisdom and again i'm just using that as an example 
So I would love for you to take this message this week, sit down with yourself and find out what wounds you might still be carrying and how you can turn them into wisdom to move forward in life and heal it. Because they say we got to feel it to heal it. All right, let's just take a moment here. I don't know where you are in the world right now, but it is dang hot here where I am. to like comment subscribe and share if you know of someone that you love dearly that has some wounds and they need to turn it into wisdom by all means please share it if you need some help turning your wounds into wisdom please don't hesitate to contact me at kimonatherapy at gmail.com and I will see you next Wednesday with another message and ritual to master your flow okay guys take care much love. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.